Hey everybody, it's Jay. Today I wanted to talk about this Ronin Katana Model 3-2. This is based on the so-called Harriet Dean Sword. And the Harriet Dean Sword, if I remember correctly, and I'm going to qualify this by saying that I'm not a historian or a sword expert by any stretch of the imagination, so I'm half remembering some facts here, and if you're interested in learning more about it, I encourage you to go do your own research. But the Harriet Dean sword was one of two swords owned by siblings. One was Bashford Dean and one was Harriet Dean. The Harriet Dean sword disappeared in an estate sale, seemingly lost to time, and then reappeared in the mid-90s when it was found by a museum uh, collector. And it resides in that museum. I believe it's the Met, but I could be wrong uh, to this day. The typology, again, I could be wrong on this one, is an Oakshot 18C, which is typified by a wide, thin blade with a sharp, narrow point in the top. In this case, we have a leather-wrapped grip with a disc pommel and a really wide, mild steel guard. The sword itself is made from 1075 high carbon steel with an overall length of 45 inches and a blade length of 35.4 inches and an advertised weight of a pretty beefy 3 pounds 8 ounces. Now this is a two-handed sword. It's a long sword, so that helps offset it somewhat. It does seem to balance pretty heavy in the front, which is not also not that surprising. Not terrible, but not too bad. I've heard that more expensive reproductions of this particular sword, like the Albion Alexandria, uh, balance a little bit better. One thing that I noticed right off the bat is the disc pommel, whenever holding the sword with two hands, has some pretty sharp edges on it. At least this one did. I ended up grinding them down a bit because I would, with uh, bare hands, ended up kind of scraping the palm of my hand up a little bit. So I took that down some. The wrap isn't terrible. It's not the best. It's pretty typical Ronin Katana. Like it's tight, snug, it doesn't feel like it's going to work loose, but it's a little bit sloppy. This is actually the second one of these swords that I had. The first came to me, both of them came from Cult of Athena. The first one came to me with a warped blade. Um, it was really noticeable from the shoulder of the blade down to the guard. Uh, the shoulder of the blade didn't fit into the guard quite right. It curved out slightly. So I ended up sending it back had no problems with Cult of Athena. They did a great job on the turnaround with it, and I had the new, the next sword back in a relatively short time, considering that they didn't have it in stock and had to drop ship it from Ronin. Um, and I don't actually don't think they even drop shipped it from Ronin. I think that they shipped it from Ronin to their warehouse because it looked like it had been repacked. So they probably took it out and inspected it before they sent the second one back to me. It has been much better, except one of the things that I noticed uh, when sharpening the edge, and I'll talk about the edge geometry here in a minute, is that even with the strop running at low speed on the work sharp, this edge has deformed a little bit right in the spot, and it does it pretty consistently here and here. It's like the metal is a little more soft right there, and it tends to want to take more material off running at uh, the, the same exact seed speed and the same exact pressure along the length of the blade, it tends to wear a little bit more right there. And I suspect, and someone who knows more about metallurgy and edges than I do uh, can comment, uh, but I suspect that the metal is maybe a little bit softer there, maybe wasn't quite hardened as much as the rest of the sword, and I really do suspect that that has to do with just how wide and thin this blade is. Scaligram even had the issue with his Principe, which is about a $1,400 sword with the uh, the edge rolling on him. Now, he was he was doing a little bit of rough cutting with it, but nevertheless, uh, I think that that's kind of indicative of this sword type, is I think it's just probably going to be difficult to get really good heat treatment with that thin, wide blade, and it means it's probably not going to be the absolute most dur durable uh, blade out there. Sword's a bit whippy. It's not too bad, again, considering how thin it is, uh, but it is noticeable. The blade geometry out of the box on this was good, but the edge was still just a little too dull. I had a really difficult time getting good cuts with it until I put a good sharp edge on it. So the blade geometry definitely will carry you a long ways, but if the edge is just simply not very sharp, uh, it's not going to really hold up to 
cutting that well. You know, you're still going to have to put a sharper edge on it to produce really good, really nice, consistent cuts. That said, I did take a chunk out of my cutting stand with the sword. I didn't have any issues with edge deformation on the cutting edge. I didn't have any bending or warping or anything like that. The, the blade never took a set, so and it worked pretty well. Now, the cutting footage that you're seeing was done on the coldest day of the year. Whenever I recorded that, it was about zero degrees outside. The water bottles and the water were freezing to the blade. Probably not the best thing to do for a sword, but I didn't have any issues regardless. Overall, this is not my favorite longsword. In fact, I have another longsword made by Ronan Katana that I think is my favorite longsword that I'll talk about a little later on. But it is a unique piece. It's cool looking and it is considerably cheaper than some of the other comp competing options. I min mentioned the Principe from Albion, the Alexandria as well. Uh, swords in this typology typically from other companies go for quite a bit more. For four, 450 bucks, which is what this one cost me, I think it's a pretty decent example. Um, and I do overall like Ronin Katana's quality, um, even if there's certainly things that could be improved. But for the price, I think that they're pretty solid. Sword also, as with all Ronin Katanas that I have so far, Ronin Katana swords, I should say, not Ronin Katanas, um, is leather wrapped wood core scabbard with a metal shape, which is a nice little addition. This is Jay. Hope you liked the video. Please click like if you did and be sure to subscribe to me if you haven't already. Hope you have a great day.